last words? Any regrets? Today, a judge agreed to a plea deal that will send the man accused of killing a Jackson County woman to prison for the rest of his life. Good evening, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Laura Monteverdi. Hello, good evening. I'm Bob Clausen. Quake Llewellyn faced a judge today and the mother of Sydney Sutherland. Kierke Force Mitch McCoy in Newport. And Mitch, there was a powerful moment today in the courtroom. Yeah, hello. That victim impact statement by Maggie Sutherland. Some are calling the most powerful moment in court today, even leaving some court staffers in tears. Tonight, Quake Llewellyn is a prisoner of the state and will never see freedom again. Today, we have waited 408 days for Quake Llewellyn to be held accountable for my daughter's senseless murder. Maggie Sutherland says she never has to worry about Quake Llewellyn again in a deal made to spare his life. On Friday, Llewellyn pled guilty to capital murder and rape, a life sentence without the possibility of parole. Llewellyn's defense team tells me the death penalty could have been likely if it had gone to trial. Sydney's family chose life to offer us that, and I think that's always the best way to go. Maggie, in a victim impact statement with a shaky voice fighting back tears, asked Llewellyn if her daughter fought or cried during last summer's attack, saying she was not his to take. And when Sydney died, something inside her died too. Maggie then called Llewellyn Satan for tossing her daughter like trash, all while making direct eye contact with him, something she told him to do. If she wanted him to look at her, I'm glad that he did. The defense calls it a moment where Llewellyn owned up to his actions. He wanted to accept responsibility for what he had done. Tammy Watson, Llewellyn's distant cousin, left court in tears. I feel so sad for Sydney's family. Watson says her heart is broken because Llewellyn's parents lost their son today, too. Quake's mother and father, they have been through so much. They're the ones that said, go in there and you tell them the truth. Quake Llewellyn has answered for his horrendous actions. Maggie can go home with the last word. Reporting in Newport, I'm Mitch McCoy.